Good evening. Good evening. Hey, I was watching the Channel 5 News, and the mayor of Orange Beach, Alabama, said some crazy-ass freedom shit. Holy shit. You know, it's something that our mayor would, you know, and I, and I like Grover, but, you know, personally, but, you know, as a elected official, representative, uh, you know, a leader of our part of the land of the free, home of the brave, mm, I think it would make him just shake in his, you know, in his penny loafers, just make him shake to even think about this. Listen to this. Amazing. Here it comes. Hope you're ready. Here we go. Our tourism season is beginning to ramp up, and the mayor of one of Baldwin County's beach towns wants things to get back to normal. Orange Beach Mayor Tony Kennan says he's not going to worry about COVID-19 anymore. He first made these comments on FM Talk 106.5. Our Brianna Hollis spoke with him afterward to dig deeper. Well, he believes very strongly if you're not considered high risk for COVID, you shouldn't be taking any precautions. Yes, the virus is real and it is very deadly for a segment of our population. But we know what that population is. And that population needs to be protected, vaccinated if they wish. But again, the rest of us that are not at high risk should not be locked down, should not be wearing masks, should be in school, should be doing everything that we should be doing. He also says, quote, we've turned into a bunch of snowflakes and cupcakes. Hear more from the mayor tonight at 10. Brian ah. Hollis, WKRG News 5. There you go. All right, there you go. Mayor Grover, is this what you want? You want a bunch of snowflakes and cupcakes you know i mean he's right you know that married tony kennan he's right a very except for he didn't even he didn't even say it right really he's right on the premise but he should have said a very tiny teeny tiny segment of our population is at risk that's the reality the vast major, major majority of all people who contracted COVID will survive it without any problems. That's what he really should have said. But, you know, wear the mask like yesterday, right? Doing the commercials. Holy shit. That Tony Kennan. Woo! Woo! <laughs> you know, there's going to be more and more people who are going to be fed up with the, just put your mask on. It's to save other people, Larry. More and more people are going to get fed up. Because it's really not. Because the people in that segment of the population, they know who they are. Now, don't give me that one in a thousand. That one in a thousand, you know, that happens, that's life. Same thing happens with influenza viruses. Uh, a number of the other coronaviruses. So unless you're prepared to wear your mask for the rest of your life because you could spread influenza viruses, you could spread some coronaviruses that are not even COVID that could lead to somebody's death. Five years from now, you could have done it five years ago. You don't even know. You could have. You know, whenever you were at the at the store or whatever and you were you know, talking to somebody and you were breathing on them, you know, like, and then like two hours later, you get sick, you start hacking and coughing. You're like, oh, I feel bad. Well, who all did you come in contact with? You weren't even sick at that time. So now the only way that you can get through life without knowing that you're spreading the virus and killing somebody is if you use that COVID mask or the Face coverings, right? That's the only way for the rest of your life. Even though we know it doesn't protect people. You know, it doesn't protect people, especially the way they say it's garbage. But let's say it does. Let's say it does all the magical things. You sprinkle fairy dust on your shirt sleeve and you cut it and you 
wrapped it around your head. But say, well, because there's influenza, because there's other coronaviruses, and there's other, you know, other things that you can spread, you know, virally. That means that if you care about one person dying, one, then you can never go again within six feet of anybody or in indoors or in close quarters without your mask on. You can't do it. Because, you know, you could kill somebody. <laughs> I mean, I know it's not a laughing matter. Sorry about that. People do die. But I mean, for you to, for, for some of you to tell me, I had it happen today two or three times with people I'm arguing with, even people who, who use my plumbing service. And they're like, I'm never going to use your plumbing service again, Larry. That's it. You're insensitive to the feelings of others and blah, 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 blah. Well, you know, whenever people get pushed and pushed and pushed, and they're told that they're killing people, that, uh, oh, Larry, you're killing people if you don't wear the mask. That's bullshit for one. And for two, you think you tell people that over and over, they're not going to really get fed up? You know, they start to... Early on, I didn't say anything about y'all wearing a mask. Privately, yes, but publicly, no. I said, if you want to wear the mask, wear the mask. Just don't jump on me or tell me I have to. And then pretty soon it didn't take long, and all of a sudden it's, you know, five months, six months, I'm hearing that crap, and I'm like, you know, and then I, and then I fire back. And I'm like, one, you got to wear that mask forever. And two, it doesn't do any fucking thing. And three, I'm, 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 I'm done, done with it. You've eliminated my feelings, my feelings about it. Because you accuse me of killing people because I don't have my, because I don't wear a face mask. <laughs> All right. Anyways, that's it. Adios, mofos. See you later.